is that we've got everybody on mute at the moment, and we're going to look to answer questions at the end of the presentation. So if you would just hold your uh, questions till then, we will uh, recommend that we use the chat function, which is that's uh, if you're on the screen, you can see there's a there's a button that's highlighted in blue on the on the first slide here. That is the chat button. For those that are call in users, we can unmute you at the very end, and we'll do our best to kind of keep uh, get you guys asking your questions. So this presentation will be recorded. So we. So this can be viewed after the presentation. So this is the public meeting for Clark Road drainage improvements. My name is Mike Bennett. I am the project manager for this project. I do believe we were expecting the district director um Kendall Locke on this call. So we want to thank thank him and the council member. The Clark Road project is a project on the east side of Clark Road. There are historic flooding issues on the east side of Clark Road and to the north. I believe many of you may know already that there is an improvement going on with Crowley ISD. They are building a new stadium. So there was concern with the existing flooding issues and the construction of the new school, the new facility that it could make the, the drainage worse. And so Crowley ISD partnered with the city of Fort Worth for these improvements to make sure that things do not get worse, but in fact, get better. The improvements that the city is bringing to the area, we've got a drainage channel that's going to be running north south on the east side that will be constructed. There will be a drainage pipe that runs north south again along the east side properties of Clark Road. There will be a drainage pipe that runs within Clark Road about three to 400 feet. There will be another drainage pipe that runs behind the properties that on the north side of Clark Road, that face north of Clark Road, on behind those properties, there will be another drainage pipe and a drainage swale to collect rainwater. And then the pipe will run and connect into the Crowley ISD improvements. This project will require drainage easements and some temporary construction easements. Tignall, Tignall and Perkins is the design engineer for the project. We are roughly at the 95 to 100%. We're, we're, we've got the 100% plans that we're just kind of taking a once over with. So the engineering plans are just about complete. And we're looking to start construction in the first quarter of 2022. We anticipate the project taking less than five months. So we somewhere between four and five months is what we expect for construction time. And the construction amount is roughly about $1.2 million worth of improvements. Again, that is a partnership between the city of Fort Worth and Crowley ISD. <clears throat> it's not much, I mean, it's not much to present as far as what's going on here. So that's really the end of the presentation. <laughs> so with that, I can, we can open up the floor for some questions. So if there's anybody in the chat, that has any questions. If 
like there's nothing in the chat at the moment. So. Okay. There's one question that usually gets asked. Okay, we will have, and if you don't have any have any questions today, you can always reach out to me. And the number that you see on the screen, that is my direct direct line. You can also reach me via email. But we will have another public meeting prior to construction. So there will be another project meeting. Jeff, did I see a Mike, chat we, we do have yeah, we do have a couple of questions showing up in chat. Uh, Bill wants to know which way which direction the water will flow towards the new ISD facility or south the other way. It flows the drainage naturally flows from the north to the south. So there is a future roadway that will basically be between the uh, Clark Road subdivision and that the school. And so this pipe, the this project is collecting water that's coming from the, the Crowley ISD stadium and it will travel from north to south. Um, this is Joanne on stock. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am, we can. Um, one of my questions was, because this is going behind our home uh, and the swell is going to be on our property. Uh, we're right here and that's the lease right there. And because um, it was going to directly drain into our stock pond. Uh, two things. Um, Trees that are going to be taken down are going to be just gone. You're not going to replace anything. And what about mo removal of fences that are there to get this work done? Are you going to take those down and replace them? Or All right. what's happening? So, yes, ma'am. At the moment, there is there is nothing. There is no plan to replace trees, any trees that are taken down. I, I know at the back of our property, we have some really tall trees right at the fence line. And that's where the first swell and that, which is right there by the. The street area, okay. and that's where that first drain will be. And so I'm assuming all of those are going to be gone and they are like our. Bumper against a lot of this. Okay, yeah, I want to answer your questions. because We can spend a little bit of time on the trees to answer your question regarding the fences. Any fences that are taken down will be put back up. Okay. And they will they will be restored. Gotcha. Trees obviously are a more difficult challenge. You can't just put up what's taken down there. Right. Yeah. So in this case, we are doing our best to avoid or to reduce our impact to the trees. Uh -huh. But in the end, we're they need to run along the, the swale needs to run along the property line. Right. I can't we, we can't just take it through the middle of a, a property. Right. Because this is th these are permanent improvements that we're trying to put in here. Mm -hmm. So at at this time it it is strictly a removal is what we're looking at. Okay. And we now then if your it's your property, we have temporary construction easements or drainage easements that we're looking to get and if yours is a price sounds like yours is a property that we will be so we will be discussing that with you when we're, we approach you for the easement and we can go we can go over your lot specifically at that okay be good oh the other question i had was you know we have a stock pond back there that whenever it rained it would fill up overflow and you know um and I think I don't remember who I spoke to. Somebody said there's a possibility that the dirt that they take from the swell can be used to when they make that swell and put in all of this pipes, they can fill that up since and the ditch, and the ditch down the side between us and the lease uh, since it shouldn't be needed anymore. Is that correct? So, okay, I'm, I'm trying to figure out your first question. Sounds like you got a couple parts there. 
So first regarding the, the the pond, are you saying that you want you do not want the pond there anymore? Is that if it's not going to be needed because no water will flow in it because you're going to be taking it underground, we don't need it. Okay, that. Okay. So I'd assume I would. I mean, any dirt that you take to, you know, to dig out to put in all this piping and stuff can go to fill up that pond. And then the there's a big ditch that is a natural flow ditch between us and the lease next to us. And if you're going to be taking everything way east and nothing's going to be draining down there, it'd be nice to have that where, you know, we don't have a big hole between our yards anymore because their driveway's been falling into that ditch because of so much water flooding Damn, through it. And our yard has gone down and our fence is about to fall into it because it's been washed out so many times. And so we, if you know, if you got a lot of extra dirt, I just assume have it fill in those areas. Then them have to haul it off. Yeah, no need to haul it off. <laughs> well, that's I I tell you that 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 is a nice thing is to save money. And yes, that would end up a lot of times that would be dirt that's hauled off. That is something. Let's. I'm, I'm making a note here. I think this is something that we want to discuss with you, potentially after after this meeting. Okay. Because that that certainly is something we can consider. I want I would want to talk to our engineer and kind of get his opinion on that first. I want to say it sounds like a, a possibility. Yeah, so it's always have um, to dig out a lot. You might as well not yeah. all that waste time hauling that off when you can. Yeah, the one thing I'm going to point out. Maybe I'll land us some money. <laughs> yeah, well, the one thing I always want to point out. It just depends on whether or not the, uh, the water is considered jurisdictional. Jurisdictional means that it's regulated by the federal government. And that happens when the, something, if it holds water for a long period of time, and it's, well, there's a lot of things, constraints that could make it uh, jurisdictional. And so that would be something that we'd have to look at first, because we obviously we can't just go break a bunch of regula federal regulations you know, with this project, we need to, we need to follow the rules. So that's something that I would, I would we're gonna have to look into to make sure that it's something that's um, hopefully relatively easy. Okay. But we will start, we, we will definitely ask, ask those questions and look into that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'd like, I'd love for somebody to come back out who's actually doing this work to just look at it one more time before they start, <laughs> just to make sure okay. we're all, Doing what we need to get done correctly. Yeah, and all on the same. And page. all on the same page, because I mean, I love the idea, and we're going to finally get something done, so we all don't flood anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I just want to make sure it's all perfect, <laughs> especially no, one point two million dollars. <laughs> no, we we agree with you. We want it, we want a project that is completed and it's beneficial to the community. So we're we agree. Okay. Thank you. This is a uh, Bill Parker. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Perfect. Can uh, when can we set up a meeting for somebody to come out? Because I would also like to be a part of that meeting to discuss not only the swell that's going to be in the rear of the properties, but also again, um, Joanne's questions about the uh, tree line, how close we're going to get to the fence line in the very rear of the properties, as well as um, again the dirt issue, but um, and then also how far our drainage pipe will go up Clark Road. I say, you know, 350 feet, but I'd like to kind of get an idea of what houses that'll end and where those four ways will be and everything else. So when can we have a meeting where they might have those details or where you have those details where we can look at it physically? That we can definitely do. I'm just trying to think of that might be would that be with Tignall and Perkins, and will they come out? Would, or who would? We would definitely bring. Yes, we definitely bring Tignall and Perkins out for that. Right. What the? What I'm trying to think through here is, <clears throat> this is a public meeting, so this can kind of get out into a larger group. It almost sounds like there might be a, a smaller group meeting uh, for the, you know anyone local that it's going to be impacted. Of course, we don't we don't ever want to exclude anybody out. Just right. trying to think of making sure we're talking to people. And, Making sure everything is relevant uh, to the people we're talking to. So that is something I've got. <clears throat> I think that is something that 
if there are members of the community that would like to be a part of a meeting on site, I would say reach out to me, please. Uh, either the phone number or my email. Okay. Please reach out to me and let me know that you would like like to, and we will certainly try and set something up out out there to kind of point out where everything is going to go. Because I, I do understand it's uh, if you don't read engineering plans, it's not easy to trigger all those things. Yeah, at least to get some of the details. I have several neighbors. I'm the president of the um, Clark Road Neighborhood Association. I have several okay. neighbors that have asked me about um, uh, like a swell in the back, um, okay. not where you'd be going past the drainage part. In other words, on into the other uh, properties to the east or to the west. Because um, one was eventually wanting to put like a, a building in the back and he wanted to make sure that swell wasn't right where he was wanting to put his building. And so... Yeah. That might affect that as well as we have two new neighbors that have moved in and that pipe will be going right in front of their properties that'll be right on the, the one on the street itself and they were also asking me questions again and i just wanted to kind of make sure where the four ways will go and where it'll end and you know some of the details of that and the driveways that it'll affect and you know those types of things so absolutely no we can certainly do certainly do that so let me I've got, so I definitely got you, Mr. Parker, and on, 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 stocks. Stocks, on stocks, I've got you, both you two down. Okay, so we won't call you. No, oh. no, I, 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 I got, that's all right, I got you, ma'am, yes, ma'am. I'm going to ask another question, and this is kind of far-fetched, but I'm willing to pay for this out of my pocket. We have a huge culvert ditch in front of our house. And my husband and I are getting kind of old, and it's very hard to mow that. And yes, some of this going to take care of that. Yeah, and I'm wondering if there's any way to put for y'all to put when you're putting that four way in, which is going to go just to the west of me. If we could put pipe in that big deep culvert ditch, and then we can cover it with dirt, so we aren't digging. The, we're not in this big ditch anymore. We're right. not. Okay, I so no, that in a plan. I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll we can certainly take a look at that with your property and where that that fits in. I will tell you sometimes that gets to be a challenge just uh, when we're doing our kind of nerdy engineering stuff. It's just they're not uh, a way to cons way to stay is that that it's not very efficient water trying to get itself into a pipe, and so it likes to back up into those 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 bar ditches. And so a lot of times those are, whether you believe it or not, they they are acting as a benefit and a storage place. So the water's not there, then it's gonna be up on your property. So yeah. I'm not saying that we can't do it. I just, I'm letting you know, one of the things that we got, when we look at it, that's something we have to consider. So we'll uh, we'll definitely take a look and see what you're, what, if that's a possibility. Yeah. Cause I mean, the water's gonna flow through that bar ditch, no matter what. Yeah, yes, it if, is. If I can get sufficiently large enough pipe to go through there and then I can cover it with dirt and grass, I would be I have a hallelujah moment <laughs> because we are so tired of trying to mow that ditch because it's so steep. Ours is the steepest on the whole block. Mm, okay. Well, Mr. Bennett, and here's kind of one of the issues is, of course, um, you know, when Onstat, uh, Joanne, and then moved here, the uh, one thing that they were promised from uh, the city of Fort Worth when we were annexed in was uh, curbs, gutters, and uh, sewers, and sewage, and that, you know, back in the 70s, and that has never happened in the past 50 years since we were annexed in in the 70s, and they were told. So at this point, I mean, we're not asking for curbs and gutters, but we are asking that we get some of this drainage taken care of and some of these ditches that have been so naturally flowing and causing that we can get some of this taken away since as we've been told um, about 90 percent of the water will go into these pipes instead of down our drainage ditches anymore so okay understand our meeting discussing there so okay yes we moved in here in 79 and uh or i moved in here in 79 and I had been told at that time that the we had been annexed just a few years before that, and we were told that within five years of annexation and paying our taxes, we get mm -hmm. sidewalks, streetlights, curbs, sewers, gutters, you know, the whole works. And 
here it is 42 and a half years later. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. Eight years of taxes, we've gotten nothing. Okay, I, I understand. Challenge, okay? Yes, it's a challenge. <laughs> Hey, Mike, can, no you, can you read out your phone area. number? Excuse me? No, is that uh, I'm just going to ask Mike to read to read out his phone number because we have multiple call in users and they can't see the um, they can't see the screen. So thank you, Jeff, for catching me on that. I, yes, absolutely. So for the call in users, you can reach me at 817-392-7888. Again, that number is 817-392-7891. Well, I appreciate you doing all of this and uh, looking forward to meeting all of everyone and having an on-site meeting and we can meet at my house. We did that uh, before with Mr. Uh, Rutledge and uh, with uh, Philip, uh, I can never say your last name, Philip. I'm sorry. Um, and uh, so we can meet at 1612 Clark Road whenever you want to do it. I'm assuming sometime after Christmas would be good. Don't want to do it before, if if, if possible. <laughs> Got uh, my family coming in. We understand that. Yeah. Tough time, tough time to pull those things off at this, this time of year. Um, okay, is there anybody else that have any questions? Jeff, are there anything else in the chat? I'm not so to see the chat at the moment. Yeah, uh, there's the only other person in the chat, but um, we, I think we answered all the swell information and in getting a meeting coordinated. So, okay. Any other questions out there? Just a, a note to the call in users, you are currently muted, but if you would like to ask a question, you can hit star six and it should unmute you. And you could uh, ask any question you'd like. But we certainly thank you, thank you for taking the time on this, Mike, and we appreciate the uh, time and effort you're going through, and we look forward to come out, letting us know. There's, you know, the people that receive this email to uh, have this meeting, then to let us know when that on-site meeting would be. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, just one last chance. Uh, call, call in users. It was star six. Is that what you said, Jeff? I mean, I. Yes, sir. Star six. I can also um, request an unmute, which will play a little message for him about about it. But it it'll just, it'll just say hit star six. So. I think that's about it. Thank you, Gilbert. Well, thank y'all very good. much. Hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas. You too, ma'am. Appreciate it. We're yeah. looking forward to the meeting getting set up and just, just give me a holler. That will do. Thank you for everybody that uh, was able to attend the meeting and please reach out to me uh, if you have any additional questions. If you didn't, when it, if something comes up, uh, you think about after this meeting. I'm I'm here to help out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mike.